Let's come back, you know, this is 20 years into our career now um, as a band and to have people, you know, still coming to our concerts and still coming to the airport to greet us and stuff like that is just an amazing feeling. So we just want to thank all of them, really, and uh, we love it. We'll keep coming back for as long as the fans are there wanting us to come back. How many times have you been in? Oh gosh, I've been to the Philippines uh, quite a lot. We um, last time we came, we were fortunate enough to go to Cebu and we went to Manila. We went to Davao City and did a concert there. Um, went to Boracay, that was amazing. Um, we're going to go to El Nido to go and have a, a nice chill there after all the promo. So, you know, it's it's such a lovely country to be in. So the more often we can come back, the better. Okay, let's talk about your Christmas song. This is Christmas. Yes. I'd like to ask Long, how does it feel to have a duet with the Filipino artist like Morissette? Well, for me, Morissette has one of the best voices uh, I think I've ever heard, actually. I mean, I, I write and produce uh, music for a lot of uh, very big artists um, you know, in the UK and across the world. Um, and when I wrote the song This Is Christmas, I actually wrote it for a, a Dutch artist. So it wasn't. Oh, so you wrote the song? I wrote it, yeah, I wrote it for somebody else. Um, and then sometimes when you write songs for other people, uh, it's quite tough to give the songs away. So this one in particular, I love Christmas, it's one of my favourite times of the year, which is actually the first lyrics of the song. This is my favourite time of the year. Um, so when I wrote this, I felt like it was so special, kind of too special to give away. Mm -hmm. So I took the song back from the artist and she was very upset with me and not, uh, yeah, wasn't happy at all. Um, and decided to do it myself. And, I, and I, I had a version of me just singing the whole thing and I thought, I wonder what would make it really special. Um, so I went online and I, and I asked uh, people and my fans and people that follow me to, to suggest a Southeast Asian artist that I could duet with. Mm -hmm. And I had lots of, uh, lots of um, people suggesting various different people. Um, and then it was Ross from Sony Music who uh, suggested uh, Morissette to me. Um, and I looked at her the clips on YouTube and, and uh, listened to her Spotify thing and I just thought she had the most incredible voice. So uh, I asked if she'd like to do it and she said yes and that was how it kind of became a thing. Yeah, but I'm curious, uh, is there any criteria comes into play in choosing who would be the right, you know, to do a collaboration with? Well, I mean, obviously if you collaborate with someone, you want them to have the best voice possible. And I really think that Morissette has one of the best voices, not just in the Philippines or Southeast Asia, but across the world. You know, you could put her in any situation and she would just, you know, be fantastic. So, uh, and as I was saying before, I write and produce for a lot of artists and I haven't heard that many artists, even if they're massive, sound as good as her. She sounds the same on stage live as she does on the record, which is, you know, a lot of the times I have to produce people and take hundreds yeah. of takes and yeah. auto-tune and all this kind of stuff, and that's how you make records. But with her, you didn't have to do any of that. Does she take one take? I don't know if she took one take or not. I mean, unfortunately, she actually recorded the uh, her vocals in a studio over here because you know, as you know, for to, to make a Christmas record, you don't make it the you don't make the record at Christmas. You make the record. You know, I've been working on this since June, mm -hmm. so it's a bit weird doing a Christmas song in June. But like to get it ready for for to be released now, that's what you have to do. You said you were very possessive with the song. Um, what did it take you to let go of it to share it? What to was the process. What to 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 that, this particular it, song. This particular song. Yeah. Well, I mean. I've always wanted to write a song that could potentially be a Christmas hit that stays around forever because, you know, I, I have my favourite Christmas songs. All I Want for Christmas by Mariah Carey is yeah. one of my favourite. You know, as soon as you hear the beginning bars of that song, you suddenly feel... Everybody yeah, you feel so Christmassy and you're like, okay, now we're in the Christmas spirit. So I wanted to write a song that had, you know, like, the feeling of that song that makes you just feel good. Um, and that's what This Is Christmas is all about, really. It's about just uh, the holidays and... And, um, you know, I think, especially with this, because you, you hear the first few bars, like the Mariah Carey mm -hmm. song, and, and you just go, ah, oh, I feel brilliant, and I'm ready for Christmas, and that was the, the idea behind it. Mean, you said earlier that you took it back from the artist, oh, yeah. you were supposed to give yes, it, yeah, yeah. and record it. Um, and you, that, well, I, that came to me as something that's very, that you've, be, you've been possessive of it. Yeah. And how did you, 
real, come to realize now that you want you want to collaborate with other artists with, with the song that you let go of the song. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> it's I mean, it's always hard to let go of, of of great songs, really, because you know, some like, I've, over the years I've written some some big songs for other artists mm -hmm. that I've have wished that I taken back for myself but it's too late okay. you know because they've already done it and they've released it and you know it's it's nice like like money wise to have a song that's been out there and has been big but you know really when you're a songwriter the credit only goes to the person that yeah. that sings it so yeah. for example you know Elvis Presley never wrote any of his songs but does anybody care who wrote yeah. Elvis Presley's songs no mm -hmm. they just care that Elvis Presley is singing it mm -hmm. so not that I did it for recognition but I didn't want to have a situation again where I'd written a song that I really loved, that someone else had done, and I wish I could sing, you know, even at concerts, you know, and just to see that interaction with the crowd immediately loving it. You know, a lot of the songs I've written for other people, I can't, I can never perform them myself, because yeah. they'll go, why are you performing so-and-so's song? So I thought, I don't want this to happen with this one, so, you know, that, even if it was an unpopular decision, uh, I had to take it back, there wasn't, there wasn't even a question. Female I don't want. Yeah, it was a female. It was a female artist. But I don't want to say who it was. Um, no, it was, uh, it was a Dutch artist in so in Holland. Um, she's very big over there. So she was <laughs> she was planning her Christmas release, some of that. And I sort of went. To, I was like, I'm really sorry, but you can't have it. And so. now you're collaborating with another artist for this particular song. How did that happen? How did, how did you come to that decision? Well, I had I had the version of me singing this right. song uh, because I'd, when I when I wrote it and I sang the demo and then I sent it to the Dutch artist who actually recorded it as well. So she'd gone through that process, but I had the version of me singing it, and I was originally just going to do it as a as a solo track, um, and then I just kind of felt you know that there was more magic to squeeze out of it, and if I could get somebody to. You know, I, th I always think it's 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 great hearing a, a soloist song, but once you start adding different flavours, and I thought a female vocalist, um, especially someone as accomplished as Morissette, um, would really add a lot to the song and make it really interesting. Um, so that's why that's how what that. Did happened. she add? What did she? Well, I mean, you only have to listen to the song. I mean, her, her riffs are amazing. Her voice is amazing. You know, she she can literally sing anything. She could sing the worst song in the world and make it sound absolutely brilliant. Really? Not this, is, yeah, this thing is incredible. So, um, and she's such a, a nice person as well. So I've, I've really enjoyed spending the last few days with her and, and doing all the, you know, whatever, the, the, the showtime and the ASAP and mm -hmm. all that kind of stuff. And she's a pro, she knows what she's doing. So at ASAP the other day, I felt a bit like I was, I'd just done the A1 concert, we'd done a meet and greet until 1am in the morning. I had to leave the hotel at like 7 to get to ASAP. So I was jet lagged and I was tired and there were like a million people running. I don't know if you've ever been down to ASAP, but it's like, it's crazy, crazy. So there's like a million people running around. I was like, I don't know what, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know where I'm going. And she was so calm and so professional and I just thought, okay, I'm in safe hands. If she knows what she's doing, that's okay. I just look at her and then everything's all right. Ben, are you going to release this song outside the Philippines, South East Asia, or are you also going to release it? Yeah, so 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 the, so yeah, so the okay. song this song is is um is available now worldwide. Okay. Uh, so we're starting off the promo in Philippines because I'm here with uh, with A1, and also we signed the song through Sony Philippines. So we're beginning here, but it, uh, it is also going to be available in the rest of the world. And I've already had, you know, so much feedback from, uh, you know, the UK and, um, and and Europe. And Will you be having uh, shows outside of the Philippines to promote the album with Morissette? Yeah, well, it's just going to be a single with Morissette. This I've got a Christmas album that's coming out um, at the end of November, which is just my favourite Christmas songs, uh, mostly covers. Um, so, I mean, I hope to do uh, to do some songs, uh, to do some performances with Morissette, but we've only got uh, a short window of Christmas, uh, and we're both <laughs> super busy. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're doing a music video over here, which we're going to be doing uh, later today, and then that we can, you know, if, if we don't get a chance to perform it throughout December, because I've got a crazy schedule, and I, don't, I think she's going to Rome, and then coming back here, so she's got a crazy schedule as well. If we don't get the chance to perform it on a TV show over in the UK or in that side of the world, then at least we'll have the video that we can, yes. you know, share. Pump, yeah, share and pump out to people. And 
you know, also because of the internet these days. Yeah. Our performances from Showtime and ASAP, you know, they've already got a crazy amount of views. And it's not just people, you know, I really enjoy the fact that I can make Morissette better known in all the, in all the territories my side of the world because she's such a great talent. It's great to be able to share her talent with... with her.